I just want to thank everyone. I mean, everyone is playing a part. A lot of times people will ask you, tell me about Africa and tell me about what you experienced. And as soon as you kind of tell them a little bit, you notice they don't really want to hear uh, the desperate side, the truth, the dark side, the, the, the side that very honestly speaks about the people in need. Um, and, and about the people who should have healthier and better, better lives. We're uh, extremely pleased to be connected with the Center for Living Peace. It fits so closely with the values and principles that we celebrate at the university every day and is such a great example of what we try to contribute to the community. Uh, Kelly turned out to be not one of those people. Kelly turned out to be one of those people who actually listened for two hours while I cried and told her about all the stories of the women and children who have touched me. We're all here really for the greater purpose of serving those who are vulnerable and in, in need. It doesn't matter how big or small your contribution, that everyone playing a part and doing what you can is really what's, what matters and that's why we're so glad that you're all here. I slept and dreamt of joy. I awoke to face a life of service. I acted and behold. Service is joy. Charlie's Throne Africa Outreach Project and Mpalanchale Partnership was formed. They provided services to over 50,000 school-going youth and community members. These services greatly improve the health and social conditions of youth in one of the poorest areas in South Africa, an area that is the most severely affected by HIV and AIDS. South Africa has the highest number of people living with HIV AIDS in the world and because of the death of parents with AIDS there are over 1.4 million orphans. The services that they are providing are primary health care services, screening and counseling for common problems among adolescents including substance abuse, social support, computer training and a health sports and nutrition program to educate young people. Who here has never been at a live auction before? So it's pretty easy. Don't think of this as outbidding one another. You can think of this as outgiving one another. So this is a call to action for all of you. I stand here today really truly feeling the power of what it means to be open to the universe and to let people come into your life. If you've created this incredible space, it's a platform for people to talk about things that matter. And I wanna thank you as, a, as an African and as a person. I just wanna say if there's anything that we should walk away from tonight is look at who you're sitting with, be open to conversation because people come into your life for a reason. And, you know, we all set out to do good, but I think the potential of what you're really capable of doing really lies within the people that you meet who carry you and take you to the next level. And that's all I want to say tonight is, if anything, be open to that. We are so blessed when we get to meet people who are willing to do the things that we can see but maybe can't do ourselves. So I want to just thank you all for being here. And to, here's to the road that lies ahead from us meeting here tonight. Thank you so very much.